let's impregnate resin with resin. Hi, Aaron, African Meat here. Uh, what do I mean? Okay, first I'm going to use a, a log. It's an apple. No, I'm not sure if it's an apple or pear. And I'm going to use um, a slow casting, um, slow drying resin. And sometime after a few hours, I'm going to impregnate it with a different resin. I mean, with the same resin, but with colors. Um, stick with me. It will be interesting. It's, it's something that I never done before. It's new for me. Um, it's a test. Here what you see is that I decided after I measure everything, I decided that it's too long uh, for my idea. So I'm going to create um, a goblet um, or a champagne glass and I'm going to use a low casting, low um, drying, very slow drying, uh, deep casting resin and down the, down a few hours, I'm g you will see what I'm doing. Um, it's interesting. Uh, I hope it's interesting. I hope it will work. Um, I tried it on on a normal fast fast uh, drying resin, and it was a disaster. I think you remember it. Now, what do I do here? Very interesting. Is um, I done a groove. I done um, on the wood, and um, I cut down a little bit for, and that will be the middle of the of the cup. And so I don't have to use a lot of resin. And I put on the on the revolving chuck. I put um, a, a cup, and that this way I can keep it center. So there won't be a situation that on one side of the of the wood will be more resin on than the other side. Then for me to bring it back to a cylinder, I'll lose a lot of resin. Um, I tried to create. Um, bubbles and some of them left but i don't think the bubbles that i created the one that's left i think that came out of the wood it was a very porous uh, wood and here that's after 24 hours actually 26 hours the resin is still soft and i'm using with a needle with a syringe sorry with a syringe i'm adding colors inside um on the top and from the inside you can see the the needle going through and I'm pushing a uh, resin um, there was some success with it and there will be some not success but if you stick to the end of the video um, you will see uh, on this one I'll explain everything in the end of the video the good the bad and the ugly I used um, yellow, gold, red, and blue, and green, and I mixed between them. And now I saw that it's leaking. So what I done is I'm going to cover it. And now the tape is finished. I'll put another tape. Um, cover it so it will not leak out of the cup. Three days out of the pressure pot, three days later out of the pressure pot. And slowly, slowly, you can see how balanced it is because of the system that I put. Really, really, it was a good idea. And now I'm creating slightly the idea of the cup or the goblet. Um, of course, a lot of resin. And I'm waiting to see when I'm starting to get a color on my clear resin. I'm going to drill uh, with four drills and I'm going to create three steps. This one will go all the way to the end. Um, then I'm going to create one step with this. This one will go three quarters. Then I'm going to have one that goes halfway. This one will go halfway. And then I've got another one will go quarter. And what, what I created by that is uh, three steps in an angle so I don't have to work hard and get the angle of the outside 
in the inside. The three steps that I created, and first of all, I'll, I'll cut it with a square carbine um, all the way to the end, and then I'm going to change to a round carbine tool. Of course, I'm using um, black line carbide tools, and at this stage, I'm I'm going to check that I'm running parallel to the outside and you can if you have a look good at the shapes you will see the 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 dots of the colors of the impregnated uh, that I may uh, that I done I'm going to use uh, from 180 all the way to 600 and then I'm going to investigate, not investigate, then I'll check how does it look like and what I'm going to do from there. After an inspection, I found out there is all the places that we had bubbles, that I had bubbles. I found out there is a hole over there and what I'm doing now is because of the sandpaper, it got dust inside. So I'm flooding it a little bit with uh, alcohol and then with air, I'm pushing it out and it takes out all of that. And to shortcut and to try to do a faster, I used um, UV resin and I'm going to dry it with the UV light and hopefully it will dry quicker and it did actually dry it in about an hour and a half. After an hour and a half I let it get cooled a little bit and then I start um, sandpapering with, um, with water pads till I'll be happy with it and then I'll do the Novos, the I just want to re uh, rectify the last time the Novus 2, sorry, the Novus 3 is the for heavy scratches and the Novus 2 is for light scratches. I think in my last video I said the other way around and I'm apologizing. You can start seeing now. The, um, as it gets clearer and clearer, you can see the play of the uh, dots, uh, the color dots in, into this um, goblet. Um, at one stage, I was thinking to myself, um, shall I leave it milky? Shall I leave it like frosty, not milky, frosty, not uh, crystal clear or not clear? I'll leave it frosty and, and then because of the because it's frosty it will look much better with those plays of the colors but I don't know you will have to let me know what do you think I'm using the um, also on this one I'm going to use the mini carbine tools uh, and I'm going to try to have a very thin stamp and you will see what I do. By the end of this video, I will explain um, 
all the steps that I done, which of them worked perfectly, which of them didn't work, uh, did I like it or I didn't like it. So stick around, have a look at the end of it. Um, it's quite unique that I speak in the end of the video um, live. So stick around and let me know what you think. On this one, I'm using Yorkshire grid, and after that, I'm, I'm finishing with um, um, hun uh, honey, uh, honey bee um, wax. I usually don't have conversation and I don't talk on my videos uh, face to face, just hear my voice. But for this one, I decided I'm going to explain what was the idea and what came out of it and what, do I, what did I learn from it and what I'm going to do differently next time. Um, first of all, the shape I like, the, 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 the features and, and, and the the look around, the, the droplets in the, in the resin I like also, the idea works. However, I left it 24 hours and I think it's a little bit too much. Next time I'll try with 14 hours or 16 hours because, and the reason is that um, it's soft enough for the needle to go through and pump in a little bit of different color but it does the, the the resin is not soft enough for when you take out the needle for it to close down as the needle was never there and uh, that's the thing that i'm going to try in my next project but as a whole uh, and another thing is that if i'm going to use this type of resin um that it's a it's a low set resin not to work with an apple or a pear wood because it's full with air inside and it comes out slowly slowly it's been replaced by resin and it's got plenty of bubbles inside actually on this one it looks nice it looks like a champagne glass but um, when I put it on display probably not when I put it as an idea and show it at my club probably yes um, I think it came out nice I think there's got some float inside but we learn every time and I hope that my uh, learning curves will help you with, with this uh, situation. So till the next time, don't forget to put some comments at the bottom, subscribe to my channel and have a magical day and I'll see you in my next video. It will be probably in about two or three weeks time because I'm traveling again to visit my children. Till then. Cheers, have a nice one.